Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude. That I listen to these videos and they're serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. And I'm going to start at James chapter 1 and verse 22. And it reads, Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Okay? Read it again. It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, okay? Because we can't just hear this word and not apply it, okay? The whole point of hearing this word is to change your ways and apply what the scriptures apply uh, apply what the scripture says, okay? You know, walk that uh, walking walking that same walk as Yahweh Shai, you know, following the laws, such commandments to the best of your ability, you know. These are um, these are attributes that the that the elect they, they they're they're going to do okay, and 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 that's the difference between you know um, GMS and these other Israelite camps you know and even Christianity you know Christianity you know they 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 uh they hear the words but these Christians they don't apply the words okay you got to live the scriptures okay not eating pork not eating shrimp crab lobster. All right, the Lord commanded us to be not of this world. All right, not to conform to the ways of this world. All right, but to but to conform your ways to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Walk in that straight gate. All right, let me go to the book of Joshua. This is Joshua chapter 1 and verse, verse 8. This is the book of the law that shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. You know, so in order to have good success, all right, in order to make your ways prosperous, all right, you have to, you have to do the law, statutes, commandments. All right, you gotta walk in, in in the spirit, man. All right, you gotta meditate in the law day and night, man. All right, because hey, we're we're, we're surrounded by demons. All right, we're surrounded by uh, two thirds. Okay, and in order to in order to walk in to walk in the spirit, in order to 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 walk in the law, statutes, commandments. Okay, you gotta meditate on on the laws day and night. You know. When you at the job, all right, you know we we still supposed to be meditating on the law in, in, in the back of our mind, all right. And read this, read it again. It says, "This is the book of the law that shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein." Okay, and so we got to keep the ways of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai to the best of our ability. Okay, we in captivity. Okay, we in this flesh. Okay, but we should be striving to, to, to be perfect. Okay, striving to be like Yahweh Shai. It says, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Okay, and this is the way to make your way prosperous. All right, you know, this is the way to, um, to the, the law, statute, of commandments. Okay, that's what that's our wisdom. Okay, and, and that's how you prolong your days. All right, because if you keep in the law, statute, of commandments, Okay, if you're meditating in the law day and night, are right, you fearing the Lord? All right, and fearing the Lord that, that that prolongs your life. Okay, let me get another precept. All right, this First Timothy chapter four verse sixteen. Take heed unto thyself 
and unto the doctrine. Okay, we gotta take heed. We gotta take heed unto the doctrine. All right, you know, it says continue in them. You know, we gotta continue in the things that that we were taught from from our apostles and elders. All right, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. It says, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear them. Okay, so this is how you're going to be saved. Okay, by by taking heed unto the doctrine. All right, continuing in the things that we was that, that we was taught by the apostles and elders. Okay, and and, and continuing is that's that's the that's the key part. All right, we got to continue in the things that we was taught. All right, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Okay, keep uh keep the law, touch commandments. All right, preaching these prophecies. All right, because Yahweh Shai, he is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, warning our people of the RFID chip. All right, Jacob trouble, martial law. All right, all these things we gotta keep. We gotta keep continuing in these things. All right, because uh, Satan. All right, he's wrong. He he's he's. He's uh, walking around about, all right, seeking whom he may devour, all right? And that's why we got to arm ourselves and, 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 and um, we, we, we got to arm ourselves. Let me get that scripture. All right, this is Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay? So hey, the devil, he's he's roaming around, all right, seeking who he may devour. Okay? We living in perilous times. All right. The Passover just just um just just passed a, a, a few weeks ago all right and satan he's coming down heavy all right but that's why we got to stay steadfast unmovable okay we got to arm ourselves with with, with 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 these scriptures all right you know praying in overdrive okay meditating in these laws such your commandments okay and it says, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see, and that's what and that's what, what we're fighting against. All right. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. All right. We're fighting against it says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. OK. And, and we know that uh Job 9 24 said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right. And the spiritual demon Satan, he's working. I mean, uh, he's he's doing his will. All right. Through, through 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 Esau. All right. The devil that the Bible speaks of. All right. You know, Esau, he throwing up enchantments. OK. He He's pushing his his uh, his his new world order. All right. All right. Uh, you, you, you see all these all the things that's happening in the news. All right, with 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 with, with the gun shootings, okay. Hey man, so Esau and, and the spiritual demon Satan, all right, they're 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 coming down, all right, with great wrath, okay, and that's why we gotta arm ourselves with with with, with the how about Shema was shot, man, okay. He, uh, the the left side they going hard, okay, so we gotta go hard on the right hand side, okay. Constantly making these videos, all right. Constantly praying to the Lord. Asking them to, to, to destroy this place, to shorten the days, all right, to, to protect his elect, all right. And uh, let me get another scripture. All right, it's Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12. It reads, put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh by Shema Washai. You see? So we got to put on as the elect, okay? And this is... This goes deeper than making these videos. All right, these goes deeper than going out to the highways and byways. All right, that that is a very very important. All right, to be going out to the highways and by byways to be making lessons. Okay, but this is this goes farther than that. All right, how how, how are you walking in your day to day? All right, you know, because this is deeper than going on uh, making these videos. Shalom, brother. All right. You know, how are you walking in your day-to-day? -day? 
All right? You carry yourself like a nigga in the world. All right? We can't do that. All right? We got to put on, therefore, as the elect. All right? 24-7. All right? On and off the camera. Why are you at work? You know? And it says holy and beloved. All right? That word holy goes back to separate. All right? We're supposed to be set apart from this world. All right? Set apart from the two-thirds of our people. And it says beloved. Bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. All right. And these are some of the attributes that the elect they're going to have. OK, it says kindness. You know, we're supposed to be kind one to another. All right. We the scripture say be peaceable with all men. You know, so even when we at work. All right. Amongst um, Esau. All right. We amongst two third wicked Jakes. All right. We got to we got to. We got to be uh, walking in kindness, okay? It says humbleness of mind, you know? Can't be thinking that, that, that we better than everybody, you know? Can't be thinking that you know it all, all right? Because the Lord, is, he's dealing with the meek and the lowly, okay? So we, we, we have to remain meek, all right? Yahweh Shah, he was meek, you know? That's our, that's our prime example, all right? He washed the feet of, of the servants, okay? Yahweh Shah didn't walk around like he was better than everybody. You know, it says meekness and long suffering. OK, and we got to continue in these things until Yahweh Shah come back. All right. Until we save, man. All right. And let me close out with one last scripture, Lord willing. This is Matthew chapter five and verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may glorify that like it. Read it again. Matthew 5 and 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. You know? And we and, and in order for us to do that, we gotta be putting on as the elect. Alright? We gotta be walking in, in, in the law of statute commandments, meditating in the law of statute commandments. Alright? You know, when we amongst these people in the world, alright, we still gotta carry ourselves as the elect. Alright? These people are supposed to be seeing that light on you. Alright, something's different about him. You know, he's not sagging his pants. You know, his talk is different. His speech is different. His vocabulary is different. The way that he's carrying himself, the way he's conducting himself, you know. It says, and glorify your father, which is in heaven, you know. So these people, they should be seeing Yahweh Bashmashai working through you, you know. You know, these, these people, they when they see you, they should see a godly man. All right, they should see somebody that that's 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 walking upright. You know, he's different than everybody else. All right, so this is how that we supposed to carry ourselves. All right, you know, letting our light sh shine. All right, you know. So that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, and I'm gonna close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that I listen to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom and the water Yahweh Bashem al Shai for putting the spirit on me and make this lesson. Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ba. Shallow one.